I became uh, what we would call it at that time a gene hunter. So I was hunting for genes uh, mutated in uh, genetic uh, diseases. So uh, together with my team, and at the time I was in the United States, we discovered the genes for, for many different uh, genetic diseases. And this was the first step to understand really the mechanism uh, uh, of the disease, connecting the mutations in a given gene to the symptoms of the disease in the, uh, uh, in the patient. From the beginning, Professor Balabio focused his research work on understanding the exact causes of genetic diseases, a field closely associated with his initial medical specialization in pediatrics. Having a training in, in medicine was very, very important, and, and also particularly in, in pediatrics. And uh, later on, uh, most of my research projects were started by a clinical observation. Lysosomes are microscopic organelles present in our cells that have the capacity to sort and degrade or recycle waste materials produced by cell metabolism. Genetic dysfunctions of these organelles result in an accumulation of waste in our cells leading to lysosomal disease. Lysosomes have long been viewed as no more than cellular waste bags, but their role has now been totally re-evaluated thanks to the work of Andrea Balabio and his teams, who have notably demonstrated that a master gene, TFEB, is responsible for controlling both desirable and undesirable activities of lysosomes. If you increase the function of this single gene, TFEB, you increase the function of the entire lysosome, of the entire organelle. And by doing so, you increase the ability of the cells to uh, uh, degrade accumulating substrates and recycle them. So if the cells is full of toxic compounds, for example, and you act on this gene, the, then the cells become clean again and eliminates the toxic uh, co compound. We now uh, think about lysosomes in a different way. So we don't talk only about lysosomal storage disorders, but also uh, about lysosomal storage uh, di dysfunction or lysosomal dysfunction. So functions of, of these subcellular organelles are much more complex than just uh, uh, w uh, disposal of, of waste, uh, of cellular uh, waste. It has uh, uh, shown novel characteristic about these organelles. And now what we are trying to do is to understand more about it, about its regulation in response to uh, environmental changes and so uh, we really need to uh, finally uh, study uh, those mechanisms regulating these organelles because this will be very important not only on, on a um, clinical uh, point of view but also um, uh, for basic science. I don't think there is a single group within this uh, institute that uh, that didn't apply some of the findings coming from the discovery of the TFEB pathway uh, into his research, uh, uh, to which uh, uh, some of the application of the TFEB discovery uh, can be crucial. And so, uh, and so even, uh, even in, in my case, uh, I think that, that that entire area has been enlightening and uh, we are doing uh, some research uh, addressing uh, some key questions in the retina related to, to the activity of TFEB in some specific diseases. This year, the Louis Jante Prize for Medicine rewarded this new discovery since it improves our understanding of the development of certain genetic disorders and also neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's. Scientists are now considering whether the next step could be to improve or even restart the activity of these defective lysosomes. Research perspectives that could lead to new forms of treatment. This kind of research that we do, uh, the main motivation, and I have to be honest here, is the curiosity to discover something new. I think this is the beauty of our work. Uh, uh, however, uh, being a pediatrician and being in an institute that is basically funded by a charity uh, that supports research for genetic diseases, uh, we are very well aware of the value of uh, discovering a therapy, of course. This is, I think, that's the vision of, of Andrea. So he starts from the, from the scratch with the identification of genes, pathophysiology of the, this human disease, and now uh, translational uh, medicine in order to 
to, to identify new therapies for the disease. Having spent several years in the United States, in 1994, Andrea Balabio decided to return to his own country, to his hometown near Naples, and to accept a proposal he simply couldn't refuse. It was an offer from the Teleton Institute of Genetics and Medicine and its founder, Susanna Agnelli, a charismatic industrial personality in Italy, to set up a research center for leading-edge translational medicine focused on genetic diseases and also for training the next generation of young talent. The good point to have uh, Andrea as a mentor, uh, I think, is uh, uh, that he's extremely um, um, uh, full of uh, enthusiasm and passion in science. And uh, he's so full of this uh, enthusiasm and passion that he, he really can uh, transmit you this feeling. So I think that uh, for young people uh, it's uh, really important to be in this kind of atmosphere. Yeah, but not with the, with the Shiga toxin. No. Yeah, so maybe you can check this one. Andrea has always been an example for young people. Uh, an example uh, for what really should be a researcher. Aggressive, focused on the research, concentrated on his work. Nothing has to distra distract a research from his uh, field, or his focus. And that's what he really does for everybody. And of course, since, uh, I mean, the TGM Institute is here because of Andrea. So just because he gave all these people coming at TGM the opportunity to, 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 to be capable of participating in an issue such TGM, it's, uh, I mean, it's uh, more than uh, everybody else is doing. This is, all of them are three hours. Uh, for example, uh, here uh, I promote the starvation, um, uh, I put the starvation media. Right. So, uh, it was both a scientific and a human challenge to nurture the upcoming generation in a country where basic research is not yet a political priority. Working in the United States, you can find immediately worldwide recognized collaborators, which are just across the street. Uh, instead, of course, in Italy, uh, the problem is that uh, uh, you have very few uh, scientific places where you know that they, they do research at, at top level. Italy just needs to support more research and to support the good research. I'm also very happy about uh, this, uh, this prize because it means something for Italy, I think. It means something for the young people because they think that uh, merit is not considered at the center of the uh, evaluation, uh, their evaluation. They think it's always the same story about f being friends of somebody. And here, I think in, in our institute, we have, we are proving that uh, uh, this is not the way it should be done. Uh, I think uh, uh, we should reward people who are dedicating their, their life to uh, you know, pursuing a specific goal.